Today we're going to look at all the accessories you get as standard with the Acuta Voyager Mac 80 fast version and how to put it all together, how to assemble it. And so first of all it all comes packaged in a very very nice padded case here, perfect if the trip's out in the car, going away on holiday or just keeping safe while in storage. So the OTA itself, opt optical tube assembly, it can be fitted on a, a dovetail mount or onto a tripod. If you do put it on a tripod, get the most sturdiest one you can possibly afford. The OTA itself uh, is 850mm Max Zutzoff Cassegrain design uh, F10.6. And so first of all we have the diagonal which is 90 degrees e erect image and you'll notice a couple of little grub screws here. I've already slackened them off and basically just tighten it up again into place. You can rotate this diagonal which I'll come on to later and when you slacken off these little grub screws be careful not to drop them in the carpet or worse still inside the tube because if they fall into the carpet if it's anything like mine small objects just disappear into another dimension. So you get two eyepieces very very nice quality eyepieces. The other one is on the smartphone adapter which I'll show shortly uh, with this 20mm it is quite long eye relief so don't put your eye right up to it, just away uh, a short distance so that will take a little bit of getting used to but it's worth the rewards in the end. So again on the diagonal, slacken off the grub screws which I've done already, drop the eyepiece in and tighten up. Simple as that. And uh, I'll go through the focus very shortly. And so the, you get a, a nice little optical finder scope here, which basically screws into the OTA like that. And before you tighten it into place, you can set it however you want, obviously away from the eyepiece. So the focuser with these, with the, again I'll do a close-up uh, view, with the previous one, it was the, the focuser was on the side of the tube. And, but with this one it, it looks at first glance like it's a rack and pinion but as you focus it, it doesn't come in and out and so I'm guessing it still moves the internal mirror but what you have on this opposite side here is a, li a little uh, gauge here, little markers that shows you uh, up to infinity so you can have it roughly in focus when you start observing. It's not exact, I think with, with this one I tested it, it's just shy of infinity. So if you look at some stars and they look like donuts, that means you're out of focus. So just adjust the focus slightly until you get them in focus. You won't have to move it far because it's very responsive. And then take note of the the where the slider is there, where the mark is on the slider. And so you'll know how to set it for infinity focus for further use. You'll notice here I've got the the mounting plate on the underside but some Skywatcher telescopes uh, mounts sorry have a side mounted um, uh, dovetail and so what you can do then is just slacken off the diagonal a bit more move it like that and tighten it into place so then that is set correct for when it's side mounted. As per the finder scope, again, just move it around and now that is quick, that is set for use on a, a side mounted uh, tri tripod or, or mount. So how to attach and use the smartphone adapter. I, I would say I, I, ideal for taking nice photographs and video of the moon. Uh, whether or not you, you'll get fantastic results with planets I don't know but perfect for shots of the moon. And so what I've done already is I've slackened off the two grub screws again more grub screws and I've put the eyepiece inside with the eyepiece and near so you can see it through that small hole there. And what you do is you can adjust the width of the ad adapter, the adapter clamp, put your smartphone in 
and basically on the opposite side you can see you can move that from side to side basically get it all lined up and so it's the 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 uh, phone uh, camera is all lined up with the eyepiece and then all you do is just like you was putting the eyepiece before inside like that clamp it into position and now you can take some great video and shots of the moon or even terrestrial objects wildlife etc or even ships at sea and that is basically all there is to it you can adjust the orientation if you want whether it be landscape or portrait mode and you're good to go but as, as always I say to people enjoy the view through the eyepiece first worry about taking photographs later and so that's a, a quick look around the acute Voyager Mac 80 fast version what's included uh, how to put it together uh, link to purchase in the description below as always reply to the order confirmation email saying that you watch our YouTube channel and I'll put a little extra something in the box so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time